Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? My, I'll tell you what's not good right now. My bit rate. My bit rate trash right now. Is it because of this? It might be because of this video I'm uploading. Bit rate gone bad. Oh. Bit rate better? Bit rate better now. Bit rate not so bad. Okay. Oh, hey, what's up, y'all? What's going on? So we finished Pokemon. We, we by the skin of our teeth, bit rate bad again. By, by the skin of our teeth, we beat Cynthia. And now, what, what I had planned was to uh, play the Warriors game from uh, PS2 through PS5 with the PS4 back compat. With the with the PS2 on PS4 game, but uh, when I launched it, I got a pop up that said like you may experience problems, and I thought to myself, "Well, how bad could it be, right?" And then I got in, and it was bad. <laughs> it was it was real bad. You know what I'm saying? Textures doing all kinds of all kinds of nonsense. It was just real bad. So, so instead, instead what we're going to be doing is playing Call of Juarez, Gunslanger. On the PC. Guys, you won't believe. Here we go. You won't believe how big of an L I took with this game. Now hold on, let me wait. Here we go. So you won't believe how big of an L I took with this game, right? So I I bought it while it was on like sort of a discount. And then and then and then I wanna say two weeks later, Steam was like, yo, if if you got a Steam account you own this game now. And I'm like, oh my God. Now, hmm. Part of me wants to be like, oh, I'm going to get a refund and, and then just get it for free. But it, it's whatever. It's already here. Let's go with these options a bit, right? Man, this music's a bit much. I don't know why. It's good, though. Uh... Oh boy. PC controls? Not used to them. Just not used to them. Out of play. Oh, weapons? There is. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, dynamite. Sensitive. Oh, this man cheat death sometime. The skull dice indicator comes active. means that when. Uh, Death. He gets some. He gets one more chance to evade the fatal shot. This so death ability activates automatically, and it is up to you to ensure that he's full of that. Uh, combos? Okay, no, 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 no. Experience. Okay. Next truth. Story mode. Arcade. Full challenge. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll learn as we play. I don't, I don't really need this. Not really, not really. Uh, play game. The story. Hmm. Normal or hard? Monster leaning toward hard, maybe, maybe. Bit rate's okay again. I stopped whatever that upload was. <laughs> we'll do it later. I'll do it later. Uh, you know what? Let's go normal. I'm not good enough at first person shooters to. But yeah. Put it on hard. Mm. Abilene, Kansas. 1910. Oh my god, it's loud.
Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? He used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Dangerous as hell. Alright, I gotta turn something down. This is way too loud. <laughs> Entirely too loud. It was about 30 years ago. Lord have, Lord have Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. Woo! I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, ha ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. <laughs> now, hold on. Funny, huh? huh? <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, my lord. Oh, narration and movie volume. Oh, Jesus. The sun speech down to, right? And then sound effects. That should be okay. This music is still very loud. Like, it's so crazy. This music crazy loud. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and then there we go. Okay. Oh wait, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I must not with that too. I must not with that too. Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, no, no. Their weapons look special. No, no, no they look special. Go back. Uh, controls. Yeah, here we go. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, let's go. Oh, you used to do it. Yeah. Nah, that's still too much. It's still too much. Hey, they having to troubleshoot on camera, but it's fine. Uh, but these increments are so small. Oh, uh, you know what? That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just oh. All the way over there? Yo, these cows are mooing. They are mooing hard. You heard that. You need to stay here to keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. 
Bang. Help! Shoot that some bitch. Got him. Oh. You earn experience by killing enemies. You need it for leveling up and gaining extra abilities. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. How to reload, right? Yeah, okay. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. See, getting down enemies fills your concentration. So that's just what I did. You? In the thick of it now. Hey, you motherfucker! Got him. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, oh my goodness. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Ooh. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen. Almost. Where's that again? Oh. Ow. I'm missing. I'm missing so badly. Oh. No, it's time to move. You oh. ain't going nowhere. Ouch. Oh. Sharks being on control. I don't know about it. You think you can kill me too? Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery. So I decided to get sneaky. Oh, we're getting sneak. Getting sneaky deaky. Huh. I want to put control on something else, but I don't know what. Or crouch on something else. See, you just leveled up. You? See, you have one skill point to spend here now. Select any of the three skill categories, then purchase its leftmost skill. Put it back, gunslinger, tool willing to spot out, range along this after. Let's quarter spider. Huh, yeah, yeah. I think I like, yeah. I mean, we've got guns. Ugh. We've got guns. If we're not shooting them at a distance, then what's the point? <laughs> you know? Then what even is the point of it? All right, so what do we, what do we got here? We got iron sights. Slow down time. Take your aim. Uh, oh, take your time when aiming. When you aim for, uh, when you aim a long or one-handed weapon, You'll get, a frac you'll get a fraction of concentration like slowdown. Just enough to aim perfectly. Do you want to buy the skill? Yes. All right. Keep at it. The steam achievement is covering something? All right, okay. You know what? You know what? I'm I'm picking up my controller. Oh, the not. How is this game still loud? Give me a second. Uh, why not? Oh. oh. Still turned on, eh? There we go. Oh, it's got the... <laughs> got the Xbox buttons. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is.
All right. I just need to know what Crouch is. D? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, wait, what about? Uh, nah, that's fine. I, I would want to put jump on like, you know what? Yeah. Why can't I? Oh, so far. Dynamite. All I want to do, all I want to do is like oh god i wish i could do it custom just want to put jump on a uh, right bumper and then put concentration on a well let me do it well let me do it over this music very loud all right Watch out. oh yes sir he's better Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens they with their heads cut off bitches running <laughs> These chickens are not getting away, bro. Square as we look. Where you at, dog? Ah, oh, there you are. Got his ass. Shot him in the nuts. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Let's see. You can avoid lethal shots Not only when your sense idea. of death is fully charged. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. See, so avoid the bullet by using. Uh, we had to dodge left. Or they had to dodge right. And dodge left. Oh, nah, son. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. I'm here. A lot of them were saddle tramps, or sod busters, or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Can't hide forever. You can't take us all on. Oh, nice. Bang, 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 bang. What? His ass. Got him. Okay. You think you can kill me too? Absolutely. Combo. Alright. Then I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Watch your play! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Ah! You motherfucker. Got 
God damn you. You're stopping me from shooting these chickens. You son of a bitch. Oh. Yeah. Ow. Son of a bitch. Chicken, you will make sure it. What? There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ow, 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 ow. Bullets, they hurt. Where are you? Oh. I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Got his ass. Hey, hey, hey! There we go. Skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. Oh my goodness! I'll put you down. Be right. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally <laughs> fought my way around the back of the house. All right, this is this is an acceptable level of uh of uh what you call it uh <laughs> I'm blanking I'm blanking I'm blanking uh uh this is this is an acceptable volume an acceptable volume there we go hey buddy oh it was going like that you I was inside dead, you none the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave. Get and upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. You can kill me too? How about that? Huh? You like that? All right. We're in. Twenty one killed by age twenty one. Smart as a whip. A crack shot. Billy looked at me and said, about time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Here we go. Now we got ourselves a fucking gun, baby. Do it. You Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept I think, I on coming. Oh. Oh. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Oh, you, you, you there. Son of a bitch. Got his ass. Pumpkin shot. What are you doing? Ah, that That's when Charlie got hit. Oh no! You're Charlie! Us in crossfire! Shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Ah damn, that was loud. Take that. That was too damn close. Got his ass. And here, you motherfucker. Oh, this is way better. And I grew up aiming on controller. It is what it is. Like, oh my goodness! Please, please, baby, please! Got his ass. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. Oh. They got a Gatlin, Billy Shepard. A Gatlin? Get the and bring them around back. Oh my God. I'll draw their attention. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. He directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. RB? <laughs> uh. Sons of bitches are done. For. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that what the false fuck? sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, hey. old man? Jack is just joshing with you now. Just yeah, joshing with you with you now. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please right. call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? 
you were heading for the barn. Ah, yes. I headed toward the barn. I climbed the ladder. And as I ascended... There we go. He was gonna scout my ass? Making my way past the pass of all the foes. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Wait, how do I, how do I, how do I, how do I, uh, 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 okay. Ranger. The rifle ammo capacity increased. I like that. Truth seeking. It's about negative. Ah, uh, it's okay. Okie dokie. So how do I, there we go. Triangle. As I thought it would be. Yeah. I got it. Just when I thought I was done with them, all oh. these hapless bastards would pop up. Okay. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. Damn it. There we go. Nailing them now. No, this aiming works. Oh, oh this. Damn, this again. Okay. Alrighty. Damn, missed again. Hold <laughs> on. I shot and I missed. Got him that time. Ah! I'm on to. Oh, nope, I'm not on target. I'm on target. Shit. Got his ass. They contribute. It's necessary. Damn, I missed. Got him that time. Ah! One man here. Hold, hold. Got him. Damn, missed that. Miss that one, miss that one, miss that one. Hold up, line it up. Got him. Okay, hold on a sec. There's one more alive somewhere. I heard it. It's, oh. All right. I think I'm done. I think we got them all. And that's when I met Sheriff, Sheriff Pat, Pat Garrett. Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Yeah, he's a bastard. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. About <laughs> handsome. Ham handed. It's time you challenged him to, to a duel. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Like a rattlesnake. Oh. Focus, let's see. Keep your enemy in focus using the right stick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Are we focusing on his ass? We got him in focus. Yes, sir. Send on that noggin of his. Let's see. Opponent reaches for the gun. Press RT. Fire your weapon. Aim with RS and then shoot with RT. Oh! Damn. You are dead. See, you see, you were focusing ninety-seven percent. Your reaction was point five six uh, five. Wait, point five six five. Yeah, okay. Watch your enemy's hand closely. Damn. 
I was trying to get a hundred. I bet there's an achievement attached to it. That's it. Focus on. Focus on his ass. Don't lose focus. Got him. In a fair fight. Ninety nine point three. Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. Oh, now I, I got finally reach those chickens damn again? staples. This time for real. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. I'm not about to do that whole thing again. I made like them? I wonder if I can do it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Damn. Wow, how did I miss that? There. Got him that time. Did I say I wasn't gonna reshoot the, the chickens? I might have lied. I might, I might have a compulsion. Oh, wowzers. I actually couldn't see it. Whoa. This chicken center of mass is fucking with me. Got that one. Damn. Okay. Got him. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Not that one. One back here. Got him. Ooh. Wasting ammo shooting these chickens. <coughs> Some other. Absolutely wasting it. I don't care. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I'm having a good time, you know. Slaughtering animals, that's fine. Chickens out here? Chickens that ran into the cornfield? No? We shoot all the chickens? I think we got all of them. I, th I think we got all of them. Hold on a sec. Can we? Ah, shit. Okay. I can do this. I can definitely hold on. Got him. <laughs> anyway. And stepped inside and bam! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's, That's not, not Billy. Billy. <laughs> and go on. That's How not did Billy. It and Boy, that was just the beginning. And this is where the demo ends, I think, right here. Honorably killed. On, like, you know, quote unquote, honorably killed. Because <laughs> we didn't do it. Oh, 69 enemies killed? Nice. Nice. Hmm. Um, give me a second. I gotta go use the bathroom. BRB.
I'm back. And now I have potato salad. All going according to plan. Let's check skills. Can we just next level seven to that? Okay, we're close. That's fine. Continue. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. So loud. After I came to, a bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Not to hang. That's the worst thing that could happen. Bro, what if they sent me to chill instead, you know? It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, four months after the arrest of Silas Grease. Okay. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Mm. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. Billy moving. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Nice. My first order of business was finding a firearm. We're sneaking. One here? No. Nah. Billy the Kid. Hmm. All right. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. Ooh. Close me a mean ass shotgun. Engage Whitney. Loud as thunder. And cut a man clean in half. Oh, boy. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody All right. see Billy? Oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, the location of the paper tear on your kill screen indicates the direction you were shot from. The screen is full of blood after I'm in. What did not did not see that dude? I uh, like I hear footsteps, but hell yeah, that scatter Ooh. gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. The kids escaped raised a huge ruckus. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. I'm sorry, I'm hearing footsteps. This is making me worry. Oh, sorry, it's good. Oh my god! That way? Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just look around. to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. Garrett's gonna kick our ass! There you go, over here. 
So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever gonna find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. <laughs> I tried to be stealthy. <laughs> I was a master of espionage. God dang it! <laughs> Ooh. Llama? Oh, I still got my pistol. Nice. Alright, your chickens are lucky. I'm trying to be stealthy right now. I can't shoot you. You! But hell if they weren't all waiting for me. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. You hooligans can go to hell! I'm gonna go this way instead. Oh! They're taking their positions. Got his ass. I'm just shooting this guy in the leg. Got his ass. Are we doing any kind of collision? Are they right bump? Hey, who's here? Oh yeah. See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and coloring. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Get your head stop! Okay. Uh, what's this here? The fast rifle reload. Eh? Oh yeah. So much lead squishing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. Got a rest. I knew I needed to find a horse. Okay. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful oh. beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. Hmm. He <laughs> just. You're just like, man, I hate horses. What are you doing? Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, man, I love using this. This is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Fantastic shotgun. Oh, the ladder. All right. Uh -huh. Well, howdy. Downtown's going to hell in a headbutt. Where you at? Get out here. Where? Why am I? Right here? All right. There we go. I think. More letters? Hmm. Hold on. Okay. And then up. Right? Oh, yeah, up. up. I'll just have to hit it again when I get up there. Uh, no. This one. Ah, okay, yeah. But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me mm. why Billy set me free. Actually here, uh, 
No, I can't. Okay, I cannot switch out the pistol. Damn. Uh, I like the shotgun. All right. What was going on? So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Who's oh, chasing me? Oh my god! I knew if I made it out of there nah, in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Hollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. Uh oh. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was you. double pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Get the women off the street! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Got him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got him. Alrighty. Put some holes in him. Nah, don't put no holes in me. Please. Please. I'm not good when I'm full of holes. Right, that guy. Taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he <laughs> says, I think you better I don't let think me so, go. Boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street. Eyeball to eyeball. Uh-oh. He Gotta intended focus. to kill me, and I knew out. I had no choice but to defend myself. Yeah, just your hand position using LS for fast draw. Okay. There we go. See, when you hear the heartbeat, you can draw your gun first. This is, we know this is a dishonorable act and score it accordingly. <laughs> okay. Got him. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. <laughs> Pat Garrett gunned down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. Hmm. Honorably killed. A word of choice, full blast. <laughs> all right. Uh, do I want to redo this? I feel like I want to redo it. Maybe. Maybe. 9.97. Now we'll keep so where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. 
The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. They did my kin something dirty. And I have yet to repay them for the courtesy. <laughs> Here we are. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Mm. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. Old man Clanton. Heading on down. What uh, going on? I, I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising, being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! I did my best to help those poor passengers. Where you at? Oh. Get out here! Moments later, the attackers were dead, and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Not many. None. Oh. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them, or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apache Dolphin did. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere. And there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? What happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I oh. was in a pitched <laughs> battle, but I was holding my own God against an overwhelming damn. enemy force. <laughs> See, at the time, I was still pretty green and would often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the cowboy. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. You some bitch. But to get to Ringo, I knew oh I had to find everywhere. my way past these other assholes first. Where? Unfortunately, I was nah. running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. Okay. <laughs> Glad we won't range it. Your fingers feel already increased by smashing. So you handle your bows with care. Smash and like loco. And the ability to instant rounds faster. Not break reload mechanisms. Don't use this skill. Okay. Oh. Legendary weapon. Inlaid six shooter. Okay, okay, okay. Better percent fire rate for two cent speed. Nice, nice. We appreciate it. Oh! I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less Son impressive without the bullets to back it up. Yeah. Uh, where? 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 Help me! Please! 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 Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped nope. as I was, the nope. odds of my survival nope. seemed pretty slow. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! 
What a way, what a way, what a way to be. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, oh my but goodness. I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Ouch. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Oh. Jesus Christ. Help. You're done. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. What the hey? Like mana from heaven. I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. I don't know if that was supposed to be like that. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. So many enemies on your way to the old man. You got any more ammo for me, my guy? No? Ah, oh, they do, though. And imagine my surprise Ooh. when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. Very nice. That stroke of good fortune even the odds and bolstered my confidence. Ah! It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunter to become the hunter. Time. Oh. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. <laughs> Rank it. Cantankerous. Mean as hell. <laughs> I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you. A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Wait for it. Now! Wait for it. Now! Go again. Ooh. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh no! Through dynamite, I didn't see it. I couldn't see it. The Henry Palmer shot and killed John Vetter. And having an affair with Vetter's wife. Ooh. Oh wait, he? That's okay. I guess he, he was just like, she's mine now, and then shot him. Where's my checkpoint? Right here. Okay, cool. Okay. Here one, stupid dumb bitch. Ah. Where'd you get? 
do this. Hey, let's see what you made up for. See if this works. Probably not. I what I ever do to you? Do I gotta reload again? Oh God! Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps, and that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Yo. Give me a sec to take a couple spoonfuls of this uh, potato salad. continue Woo. a few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral I was still after Johnny Ringo I had tracked him and the Cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill and they were loaded for bear. So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first, I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Earth's coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Plantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Mm. 
<laughs> Handshake. Like that. Like that pop up. Rifle ammo. Please, more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Right here. <gasps> oh, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know about that. Yep. Okay. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what pulled me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday was taking him. That lunger should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Ooh. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, hell but yeah. Ringo there had nothing to do Saw with it. Saw it off. Let's go. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Hmm, what do you have? I'm suspicious. Oh shit. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's, What's that, Dwight? After old man Clinton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks at a yellow belly to boot. Mm. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Oh. oh my god, they're everywhere. Please stop being everywhere. Oh my god. This way. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Hello? Oh, they're down there. Oh my god. Alright, we can uh, check it out. I'm we'll we'll open it out. Almost got him. Damn you. So it wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. Oh, look. Uh, oh, son of a Please stop showing up on an oh, Fine, you want to do this way? There we go. Carts everywhere, piles of lumber, oh, God keeps knows shooting me. People to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Okay. I guess I got them. Hey, you wanna you wanna stop? No. Oh. Oh. 
All right. How much rifle ammo left there? Eh? All right. Well, where was oh. Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly. Aiming to see for targets. So, uh, any weapon will be increased by 30%. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Oh. Okay. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Takes the shot. Before he takes the shot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he takes the shot before he takes the shot. Where you at? Oh, you shit. Saying they ran. Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Those low. Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. Mm. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. Took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Next in line. To take over and take a bullet. Incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Got his ass. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. 
Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. It's real good so far. The potato salad in this game. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So <laughs> it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. See, killing Johnny Ringo closed the first chapter of Silas's Zaga of Revenge and started him off. In close quarters, a combination of two sawed-off shotguns can deal catastrophic damage. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant, and hunting Plummer looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Hold on a second. I need it. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. It makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you <laughs> be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Yeah, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. Hmm. Up on the rocks with a rifle, eh? Hmm. Ooh. Like that. Hold on. There he is. Come here. Come here. As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. See you later. Who the hell is that then? Don't let him get a shot up! Get them all. I guess I did. Oh boy, that's stupid. Okay, hold on.
Fellas, it was a pleasure. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking what? gold shops. How that not? Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a man. Hey, what happened? That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. There he is. What's going on? Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers right. trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Uh oh. Wants that asshole dead. God damn, that was loud. Dangerous, desperate individuals. You can't beat me. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was touched. This is all or had some kind of death wish. I'm seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder in there. One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. There we go. To the wood, we're not done yet. I thought I was some kind of hero. I guess we I were. finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, mm. but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Lego. You can run. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, oh, no. it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Get around him. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. <sighs> A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. You ain't
Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. There he is! With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. Oh. All it takes is one tiny spark, and boom. <laughs> okay, I didn't think it would reach me that quickly. Take that asshole out! Oh. As a boy, I always loved the 4th of July. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. We'll use the proper... What the hell? One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead blasted tomb. Ouch, damn it, dude. This one I think I'm out. What? I guess I run forward now. I freely admit that my plan of attack was not okay. just on it, but clearly in sight. Oh! <laughs> Wait, it's a I... good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. <laughs> Instead, I spotted oh a ladder. Way into the mine from the opposite side. Uh, I like how it's just like, but what if though? <laughs> it was a long way around. That's but all that, that approach was. seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. Oh. We're dual wielding now. Do I run and jump? I needed to make a leap of faith. Okay. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. Oh. I was determined not to give up, however. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, People were outraged. This is all. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, mm. I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. The elevator. I picked the more convenient and more dangerous route. Plummer was a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserve better. <clears throat> Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Where are we headed? Oh. 
Uh, oh, down. Okay. I remember. Law man. Outlaw. Scallywag. clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. I That there is. You ain't taking me. That you can't do it again. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. That's how Henry Plummer died. <sighs> Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. <sighs> so, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin, so that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin mm. as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. He killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Damn. You know Wild Bill Hickok, a, a mean motherfucker. <laughs> huh? 
I dodged death many a time. Hey, yo! That night in Abilene was no good. Um, all right. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Where you at? Where you at? You're dead. There we go. Uh, I thought the Texas Rangers got hardened. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they want you to believe. It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. To the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me. Mm. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? Hmm. John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. Freezing my giblets off. All right, we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't no bird stupid enough to go after Harden anyway. Better three hours early than a minute too late. Initiate. They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun hands. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Harden's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. You have to do everything! I'm just firing wildly. Let's see. There you go. Okay, cool. You bastard! Tail hard and someone's coming for him. Stop that, so bitch. I'm saying that. Get the oh. I wondered if Bob was among them. All right.
and I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Hmm. Before I could test my metal against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. <laughs> it might be in a little spot of trouble. Oh. Oh. I was right there. A ballsy. Ow. There we go, we got him. Oh, oh bitch. I think I already mentioned that I found Hardin in this very saloon. Who the hell? <laughs> Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. Where, motherfucker? In fact, I felt a certain hostility. <laughs> Guess you've had enough. Oh, oh. Ma. Ow. You can't hide forever. Ah, oh, there you are. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. There you go. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. Kill at 15. Kill the man for snoring. And 40 more for breathing. I felt a bolt of adrenaline. Or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Oh shit! No wait! You didn't hit me then! I'm sure of it! Damn, he was fast. I was not prepared. I was dodging. Come on.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Lean with it, rock with it. Anyway. We got this. We got this one. Oh my god. Good. was faster than Grease Lightning, but being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon, just like this one. <laughs> Anybody up for another beer? Ben? I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to come back to this. Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know. Do you ever go toe to toe with a red man? Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Grey Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. Yeah? <laughs> I don't, don't, don't take one guess as to why. Dances with renegades. All right. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high they tickled the nether regions of heaven. Hmm. Long time ago on a mountain far, far away. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony. And the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. Hmm. They saw me before I saw them. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. There we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. You just scared me. Country. 
the winter home of the Cherokee. Oh my gosh. And that's why they had retreated there. Sweet baby G. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Where? Alright. <laughs> Back to the rifle. Hey. Alrighty. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Hmm. This way. Hello? Oh, sons of bitches. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit. They had torches on the wall. Miss that one. Come on. Hello? You good? <laughs> you good? <laughs> How big was his cave? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hit out there during the Indian War. <laughs> they thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? Oh, I fucked up. To be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. What? I thought that was it. Was that too slow? So much about it. A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them <laughs> nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well, I pursued him into the cave of death. Cave of death? The death cave? The cave of death? The cave where you die? That cave? Hey, what's over here? Ah. 
Alrighty. Oh boy, I don't like the looks of this. I came upon this huh. flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. Mm. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. <laughs> Did it now. Oh, what? As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul would have no rain if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequal by any other pale faced warrior. Or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> all right, all right. Hmm. Interesting. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked oh. me like hungry wolverine. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. Where I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Kinda like a miracle. Hold on. Okay. That's not full up. Right. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, oh, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him. Determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo is right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four. Well, more than that, little lady. <gasps> Ah! Okay then. Land of fate. There we go. I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a trap. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches surrounding me. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not going to drag this out. Where were we? <laughs> you were surrounded by a hundred Apache, Apache warriors. warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, oh. but there were a lot of them. 
Oh damn it. Oh, hey, what's up going on? What's going on? What's up? Got his ass. appeared before me that I had not oh seen my goodness. before. Oh for this is cracked. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Oh wow, we actually killed a hundred of them. <laughs> great, great, great. That's fantastic. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not. Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right? I did my best, sir. We all did. Hmm. They call me Bounty Hunter. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Dalton's got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Mm. Story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the master took his brothers to Coffeville just to shut her up. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. We got us a hero. Put some holes in them. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Boy, what you First know all, about the what's in them dime a novels? Posse of U.S. deputy marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months. Now they finally had him dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give us the major. We just got to wait for something, bitches. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. Hmm. One of the marshals shouted, 
Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That <laughs> rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. Moving on up. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. <laughs> I laugh at danger. Anyway. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. like him who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free mm -hmm. like Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett who died defending the Alamo sure is that Silas Greaves son of a bitch is that Silas Greaves right, cool. good 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 oh. out of this you can run but you can't hide forever oh. He says I'm hiding. Oh, hold on. Got him. Sorry, sir. Over there. Taken down those thieving Daltons. His name we go. was Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. <laughs> It was early evening, not high noon. Six fifty PM. I was late. About to time the party for supper. And Coffeeville was already up in arms. The Daltons blew up a safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. <laughs> Bob Emmett, <laughs> the leader, the lover, the loser. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. In for the kill. And finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. Oh, they still had friends and talked oh. Hello, Dalton Brothers. Hey, you got us an evil group? What's the balls in them? Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem the was, boys. they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, this. I found myself in the middle of another shootout in Tyre. Did the Daltons hole up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. There we and go. they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which <laughs> wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well. 
Bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. <sighs> Shit happens. I'm not hitting you. <laughs> That's it for you. The Dalton right. <laughs> boys knew I would never give Let's up. Go. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer. Oh fuck! But they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The oh. third brother stayed behind to plan me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. It was Emmett. The youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Greaves. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. And I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. It's all killing time. Ow. There we go. But Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. <laughs> well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Oh! But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Bounty Hunter is still my name. I don't go by nothing else. Grease, well, that's a family name. That ain't me. We'll get those suckers. It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this. And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. Hmm. Alrighty. I'm the Daltons. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course. So we uh -oh. kept an eye out for landmarks. Hmm. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color. Red as blood. The rains that year were torrential. And the so the for whole this area was oh, flooded. The vigilantes had spread one. out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Oh god, I'm in no shit. Where they stand. Except for some son bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm. So I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. Yeah? So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. You just Point B and I was under serious attack. The fuck? Oh 
shit. Oh no! Oh no! And shotgunners, dude? Bro, die. Oh, good, 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 good. Battle rifle. Enforcements was nowhere to be seen. Oh, you God damn you, checkpoint. Luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. <laughs> I scrambled up top to get a better view. A barn just rolls out of the swamp. Lucky me. But <gasps> just ended up falling inside. So how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Oh. <laughs> I'm about to wake Steve up, man. Steve! Steve, wake your ass up! Steve, get up, man! Steve! Steve! Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. <laughs> Indians surrounded me from all sides. No, I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. <laughs> now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp. That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, I I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, sure, sure, sure. Ooh, where was man. I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Bounty hunter! Stop that, so bad! Fuck, I messed up. So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet. <sighs> But I did find a few of their cousins. 
You Kansans breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. But hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come here, you son of a bitch. Got him. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, sure. Oh. Go down. Bro, go down. What's it do? Let's see. Oh, minus 25 recoil, plus 30% AP, plus two ammo. Mm, I like it. I like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. What? Bruh. Right back in the uh, not more. That was death. I knew those Dalton boys were out there somewhere. Standing together against anyone who would threaten them. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? <laughs> In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It, just it was in a fusillade of bullets coming raining down from on And those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among oh, those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. There we go. Get me out of the swamp. Oh, they're fucking... <laughs> Like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. 
Brother, I'm Brother? You can't hide from me. I don't like it. Not at all. And I. Oh. Uh, no, nah, man. Shotgun? Shotgun? That's what I was looking for. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. I don't trust this guy. Why is he here? You know what I'm saying? out that they had me yeah i knew it i'm sending you to hell not hell that's the last place i want to be the daltons had played me that's like a fit oh shit apparently the vigilantes were on their damn payroll they didn't just want to shoot me they wanted to burn me alive but finding my way out of a burning labyrinth Proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. <coughs> well, yeah, but I was in Did a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Largest one in the world. Um, you're well, talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed big. I don't think it'll be uh, So anyway, don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh God. But getting back to that steamboat. How'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. It was time to settle this once and for all. Like, where is he shooting from? I can't see. to come at me one at a time they were in this together two brothers side by side oh determined boy. to take me down confident that this time the odds were on their side well, he's the leader let's take him out first i think Ah. Okay, maybe not. He's slow. <laughs> I'll take the the little run out first.
but also up my speed. There we go, we're getting it good now. Oh fuck, I'm poo! for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Whew. Arose 14 Christ. years later. He moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. Hmm. Wait, did I get a... Yeah, I got one unused. I'll see here, right? No. Uh, uh. Ah, additional zoom while aiming. I do want that. All right. This is good. Oh my God. My own my bit died rate. tragically as well. Truth be told. Okay, that's better. Jesus. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game I leveled out. We're okay. with a couple of cowboys. I don't know what happened. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but being my older brothers were bigger and heavier, they were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Mm. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. I don't know how long my bitrate was just eating shit for, but it was. Oh, it was bad. Not so great train robbery. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Whoa.
sawed off rifle? I mean, we can try it. I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. <laughs> well, I made my way off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no Who's choice but to dispatch bitch? them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. You can ride, but you First, I would need to get my ass out of there. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Ah, there we go. Always take the ranger when you have the chance. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Got it here. What about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. <sighs> really? All right. Nice. I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights, but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway, so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Get out here! Got him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? You call down the Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Whew. Alrighty. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in, guns a blazing to help? Hey, yo! A squad? Grand Posse versus the Wild Bunch. Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the Wild Bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? I'm down a bit too early everybody. there. I uh rushed in a bit hard there. Let me open up. Don't mind me. My 
guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But mm. the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who mm. was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Oh my god, that was insane. I'm cracked. My speed was 14. Ah, oh god. So hard to manage both of them. Shit. Oh, damn. I would just slow on the draw there. We're trying to be honorable and shit. We should just shoot him. On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. Oh, here. I got one. Very good. All right. <laughs> One thirty to hell. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. Spooky. That Kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Yeah. 
being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. There we go. He's nothing but a coward. Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. Hmm. I could sense him close by, however. Plotting oh, something nasty. Oh. I just needed the a clue as to their see. whereabouts. I didn't see the explosive barrels, unfortunately. I made aware of them. Hey. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. Hmm. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Oh, okay. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Damn. Though some say it was only five. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. <laughs> Fat Sally. That whore, Fat Sally. Not just a whore, but a blabbermouth. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Saw them? And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped right. my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Ching. Oh, hey, what's up? Get out of here. <laughs> Remove more of that damn dynamite. I need to start using this. Oh. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Does this guy have a stand ability where paths forward just materialize in front of him? 
Oh. Get him. Oh shit. I'm gonna stay right here. Hold on a second. Where am I? Uh, Are you some kind of maniac? Well. Shot. Mother. There we go. Yeah. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Uh, blip, blip, blip. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Yes, it just appeared in front of me. Oh, damn. Oh, armored shotgunner, that's why. Okay. I think I need the dynamite for him. proceeded onward and realized that that way just wasn't going to work. I needed an alternate path forward. Hmm. Wait, but how do I? Hold on. How do I? How do I get this? Maybe come back around to it. Maybe. If not, then whatever. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a uh -oh. long burning fuse and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. Run! Oh. Oh. Been unfortunate. was so damn quick I had to run like the wind I almost had it but no thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks oh, fuck. my heart was pounding like a sledgehammer I knew that failure meant boom then finally at the last moment Whew. of course I was successful or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today <laughs> Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. <sighs> mm, he's aging. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. They found me. Okay. <laughs> I feel my heart beat now. Wait, wait. 
it hit you like a sledgehammer. <laughs> no dual wheel desperado. Hmm. This, this is an area. Jesus Christ. Had a switch to the rifle. <laughs> Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Not a goddamn Gatling gun. Kid Curry. Oh, the fuck? Show yourself, you coward! 
Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Stupid contraption! Mm. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy. No. Ah, there they are. I'm in Please, not him. Some help here. Come on, boys. Take this bitch out. 
coward! <laughs> Shit! tunnel down. There we go. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. He took care of it. We took care of it. Fast as he was, I was just a bit faster. <laughs> and as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Those were his last words. <laughs> Famous last words. Is that what this is about? <laughs> Bob went to South America. You ain't never finding him. <laughs> Famous last words. Did I get another one? No. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. <laughs> and from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. Mm. Death rides a steel stallion. Mm. It occurred to me at some point. Oh. I confronted them as they were robbing a train. Bullets were flying at me from every which way. It's occurred to but me. I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was going to find this gym. <laughs> that I uh, may have played this game already, but I just don't remember like most of it. Weird. What do we got? Okay. You can't fight James Gang. Want that? Motherfucker. Just kill Red. Still alive. Armored shotgun is the worst thing I've ever seen. Wait a second. Now, how'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see how they did it. Legend was. You can stop a train just by looking at it. By staring it down. <laughs> okay. They hopped a freight train having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So I hopped the same train. The hell? The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that... James Younger gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. <sighs> by the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? There we go. out of my way. I'm Silas Greaves. Oh, oh shit. I think he wasn't armored. find the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. All right. There's a way. And this horse eyes. <laughs> Taking a piss. Did I move forward? Just keep going. I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's <laughs> Silas Grease? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. I mean, who isn't an old drunk looking for some free liquor? You know what I mean? I was supposed to move forward through this section. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the boat. But you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Hey, you, you don't know Jack, all right? You don't know Jack. Well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. At some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton! I never worked for that limey cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember it. You are. Oh, I think I like it. You know who we are. 
Motherfuck. You son of a bitch. Turn that corner again, I dare you. Oh my god. I guess my fist is getting caught on the corner of that doorway or whatever. Bobbity boop. There you go. There we go. That's what was supposed to happen. That's what was supposed to happen. Ricochet. What was in here? You know <laughs> oh no! I stepped off the it train. Was a rickety ride and quite precarious. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Oh, no you hear me? Kill <laughs> that missing. You calling me chicken boy? You know who we are. Shoot that stupid son of a bitch. There we go. Still time for this, you hear me? I hear you, but I don't this see you. Don't know who he's up against. No, no, no. The hell? All right. I don't know. Well, all righty. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Huh? I wondered if I was ever going to find the front of that train or the bastard I was after. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. <laughs> Guess I did. Now, I don't remember how Assholes? I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Probably dynamite. I mean, if I had it, though. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. Oh, whoa, oh, damn, really? Dead to rights, I guess. Oh, shit.
Okay, so I can just do it like this. Okay. me like this Jesus Jesus Lord alright we're past the Gatling gun guy oh is that what I want me to do I see Looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. <laughs> and that included Jesse James himself. I had the shoddy on me. They sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. Ooh. Oh! I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. And this is where we're having the showdown? You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. <sighs> yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. Damn. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. He's... Uh, he's talking to Ben a whole lot. Think that means something? No, my bit rate! Why? <laughs> Why is it John? I don't know. I, I, I can't... I don't know if I can do anything about that. I have no clue. Help! Help! Okay, that's better. Screaming for help, did the trick. <laughs> After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, 
Frank and that son of a bitch Jim. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from oh, the military Jesus Christ. found me first. And then I died. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, what the this? And this guy, he died. He died harder than the rest of them, didn't he? Jesus Christ! All right. Oh! Easy. Hey, how about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Oh man. Ah! Oh, my legs. Now where was I? Indians, right? I had more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Uh, yes, sir. You did. Ah, oh, of course I did. In fact, I could still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again. And kill many more men. And the darkness will grow. Until it consumes everything you are. So, did you ever find it? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. Sang it. Won't you spare me over to another year? Hey, yo, talk what to him. What is this? Let him know. That I can't see with eyes cold him. Taking hold of me. Mm. Oh, death. Oh, 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 death. Won't you spare me over to another year? Mm. Well, I. None can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, death. Oh, oh death. Won't you spare me over till another year? What a beautiful singing voice. Oh, if someone would pray, could you wait to call me another day? Oh, death. Oh, 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 o
won't you spare me over to another No land, no silver, no gold. Nothing satisfies me but your soul. I, I can't believe I don't remember this at all. Oh, Dale. Won't you spare me over till another year? So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was going to stop me. Nothing. Frank James. Who is this guy? Where, 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 when did he show up? I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother, Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man, as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. Now, uh, you know, the misunderstandings they have. What can you do? He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Huh? Well, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. Ain't 
seen the likes of me. I see you. There we go. That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. <laughs> I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? But how would he survive that fall? I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard! I am done here! We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. <laughs> Good guy, Frank. That nugget is somewhere nearby, huh? Nugget. I don't highlight him as anything. to let that murderer escape my revenge again. So what happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. But rather than wander in willy-nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, Reed, I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Bell Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Damn. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. Damn. At least she was to me. Damn. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Will someone please kill him? Oh my god, why am I missing? Oh! You son of a bitch! Bro, die. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Just pin down. Bro. There we go. Eventually, 
It was just me and Reed. <sighs> I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Fucking sucks right now. Ugh. At least give me up to 80. Oh no! Oh. Damn it! Pay him, I did. Ooh, speed 70? Man, that's the highest I ever got there. Okay. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well... It's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Okay. But that, that's, that's where we're gonna have to leave off. Yeah, I think this is the last mission, but <laughs> I, I have to stop now. Because it's five! A. Hey! M, which means it's time for me to go. Uh, hey, uh, to anyone who showed up and hung out, thanks for showing up and hanging out, you know, lurking. I appreciate it. Truly, I do. I'll see y'all next time on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday, 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> on saturday by the way because we've got the last mission here and then well and then i don't know what then i have to start something else i didn't think it would be this short i didn't think it would be this short but i, I don't know that that's that's probably on me i should have expected it <clears throat> anyway uh i'll see y'all then bye bye